What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Asian. We're back once again. Took a little time to decompress and figure out this Steelers game. Um, Here to talk about the Steelers. Yes, the Steelers played. And they lost on um, week eight game. Um, a crucial game they needed in this in this uh division race to try to get back in here and make some noise. Um coming coming off a big win last week against the Rams. Um, but they fought her against the ja Jacksonville Jaguars twenty to ten at home. Um the Jacksonville Jaguars have been playing phenomenal football. Very good. They're starting to catch their stride with some good young guys, but they defeat the Steelers twenty to ten. Um I'll get into the, the main topic of this game, but let me talk about how, how this unfolded. The Jaguars go up six six nothing early in this game. They're moving the ball. Steelers cannot move the ball. Mika gets hurt in that first quarter. Um, grabs his leg, hamstring injury. He's out for the game. So that's one of our, our leader and captain on the defense. Um, in the secondary, um, in the Steelers' first four drives, four four three and outs in a row. In the fifth drive, finally got it in that second quarter. Um, so it was not good. Um, the defense kept his team in the game in that game in that in that first half. Defense forced a, a fumble recovery by Colham. He got it. And then a pick by KZ. And KZ actually ran the ball out of the end zone when he should have took a knee. And we got the ball like the two-yard line. Um, eventually, they ended up getting down there to score to get a field goal. But on that drive that, that got a field goal, Kenny missed Deontay Johnson wide on a, on a, on a slant route. He should have hit him when he was taking too long. And then he tried to route, run back to the ball and Deontay slipped. But that was just, that was just bad. And it just did not go well. But let's talk about where the game changed and where everything Everybody's talking about the refs after this game, and it's been very talked about in this game, and that the refs cost the game, and, and the Steelers are not happy with it. Um, a lot of people aren't happy with it. Um, so let's talk about this. End of the first half, uh, the Jaguars get get a field goal, get a nine nine three. Um, Steelers still get the ball back. Um, they're moving the ball down the field. Twenty seven seconds left in the play. Uh, Kenny runs out of Kenny Kenny Pickett runs out of bounds. Um, scrambles to his left, runs out of bounds, clearly gets the first down, um, and then the refs don't change the spot. So that misses the Steelers, Steelers up to get the first down. Then they then they they change it, and then on the next play, Kenny gets hit as he's throwing the ball, and the defender drives Kenny to the ground, which in essence should be roughing the passers, what they've been calling all year, but somehow they don't call it. And then earlier in the game, they called roughing the passer Keanu Neal um, as he hit Trevor Lawrence, but he kind of moved his body, he didn't lay his body weight on the guy. So if you're gonna call that then that should be called as well. So also with that being happened, Kenny gets hurt, hurts his ribs. And then when they reversed that call, they took ten seconds off from twenty seven seconds to ten seconds. So now we're in a we're in a we're in a we're in an iffy. And then when Kenny gets hurt, we have to use they have to force to use the timeout. So still does eventually go for the fifty five yard field goal. Um Boswell nails it, but then there's a penalty. Five yards still is offside. And which which is a which is a joke. It's crazy to me. Then they have to go back five yards, kick a sixty one yard instead of a fifty five yard field goal, and that gets them a miss. So it goes in a half nine three. And on a post here what Boswell posted Chris Boswell posted on Instagram when the rest called the Steelers for offsides. It was clearly the wrong call. I don't know what the rest were looking at. Um it's comical in my opinion. Um and that ultimately is a big part of this game. And that we go into the half nine three and it's just the momentum's changed. Like I said, Kenny's out. Um looks like a rib injury. Um, after the game, Deontay said this, they must have got paid good today or something. They should have got, have got fined for making terrible calls. That's how pissed I am. They cost us the game. So when a player speaks out like that, he knows he's going to get fined, but he's trying to make a point. Um, I'm sure they'll go back in the, and look at the last few minutes of this game and say they made some bad calls, but who cares? That's it's not important now. It's not going to get this early win back. It's not going to give them some of them points back, but it was just terrible. But that being said, I still think the Jaguars were the better team. <clears throat> In this game, um, defense played very well. As, as, as we all know, offense has not been good. Um, Mitch had to come in and play through one touchdown to George Pickens for 22 yards. Um, after that, two two interceptions did not look great per user. This offense looked sluggish once again. Um, the Jaguars defense did a good job. I mean, Deontay Johnson had eight catches for 85 yards, 14 targets. George Pickens only, like I said, had one catch on four targets for 20, or five targets for 22 yards. They had six penalties for 52 yards and 261 yards of total offense. So it's not like we're lighting the world on fire at this moment. So I'm sure the fire can, the chance are going to happen. The refs are mad. That, that was part of the, the reason why they lost. We can we blame some of them on that, but that's not the only reason they lost. There was still a game to be played and still points to make up. So we can complain and try to get things to change. But, once again, this offense is bad. Once again, it's muster 10 points. But like I said, give Jacksonville credit. I think they were the better team. Uh, yesterday, even even with the ref help, um, I think they're a little better than us. And I, I thought in this three-game stretch I talked about last week that they could get the, they got to get the 2-1 for this to be a, a nice three-game stretch. 
And now, even after this tough loss, I know we're frustrated, still different friends with everybody else, but got to move on. It's a quick turnaround. Thursday night football, yes, Thursday night football at home against the Tennessee Titans team who just came off a win against the Atlanta Falcons at home, starting Will Levis, the rookie quarterback, through four touchdown passes. Um, So the Steelers are going to have to... They're going to have to make some plays in this game. They ha This is a must and a must, must win for a Tennessee Titans team who I believe is not good. Will Levis caught Atlanta off, but they he won't be catching his defense off guard. Um, guys are going to have to step up on the defense once again. All right, to get the defense credit. I think they did a, a solid job yesterday. Um, Jacksonville was 0 for 3 in the red zone, so I give that credit to the defense. Some picks making some plays. Cole Holcomb's been playing well, so, him and, so has Quan Alexander. I think Atlanta Roberts is probably out of the mix, but... Probably Minka's not going to play, I guarantee he's probably not going to play with the hamstring injury. Kenny's status is up in the air, so Mitch is going to have to come through and play. He has a rib injury. I think they'll sit him out at least a week. Now, this next two-game stretch, like I said, is going to be quick. We got this quick turnaround against Tennessee, and then you play a Green Bay team who's 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 not playing good right now. So you need to come out these next two games and have a 6-3 and three record and keep moving forward, man. Like I said, tough loss, though, but you got to find a way to bounce back and win, man, move on to the next one, especially with this quick turnaround. They'll be back. I think they'll play a little better. I don't so we'll see what happens. But hey, it's your boy Adrian, and I'm out.